Whoa, what's that? Hmm, sounds like a delivery. Let's check it out. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Whoa! Sweet! Check that out. You know what that is? That's a power supply. 15 pounds of hard drives. There we go. All right, so this is day one of the build, and uh, I'm not going to build anything. I'm just going to unbox some stuff today, uh, show you what I got, and then uh, yeah. So I get more stuff tomorrow, and then more stuff on Friday, and then we'll do the build. So it'll be a complete build log, and you'll get to see everything. So shopped at my uh, you know my favorite guys to get stuff. New egg, of course. Um, and I thought I would share with you guys, uh, this is going to be a fairly easy build as far as I can tell. I hope. I hope it's going to be easy. And um, it's the whole intent of this build is to make something super simple uh, for backup and also to serve some applications. Maybe to do some rendering of video automatically. I'm not sure about that part of it yet. Uh, but mainly it's backups and also to run a Plex server for media in my house. Uh, all the DVDs that I've collected over the years, um, and I've ripped those off to uh, MP4 files, and I have a Plex server. Right now I'm running it all off on a machine. Uh, and this is just gonna be a simple box, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the build. All right, so let's get this first box open. This is super cool. I've never, ever done anything like this before. This is uh, a box full of my NAS drives. So this was uh, the largest part of the purchase. So when you're doing this build, if you're interested in it, uh, you don't need to go as far as I did. I have 16 terabytes of photos that I've shot over the last uh, seven years. So <laughs> those are first and foremost going to get backed up. Um, and then the rest of the space is just kind of going to be for expansion. But you could start with just a couple of these drives, start small, and then the whole thing about this type of system is you can just add drives. And it's super simple to expand as you grow and as you need more storage. So yeah, so this is the first part. Super expensive. Get, get out of there. Alright. Oh, wow. So there's like... Two little boxes in here. Huh. All right. Well, let's take those out. Try not to drop things here. Well, let's see what's in those. All right. Get rid of that. Sorry about that. All right. So this is boring over here. This is just a power supply. So we'll get to that. All right. So this is the cool part, though. This is eight five terabyte drives, and I went with. Um, HGST, which is Hitachi. Uh, Hitachi bought all of the IBM technology. And IBM Death Star were always my favorite drives. They always lasted the longest. And Hitachi's continued on with that now. So I uh, got a great deal. These were on sale at Newegg. Um, you can get them on Amazon too, as well. Uh, but I went with the five terabyte drives. And there's eight of them here. So there's one. And a two, and a three, and four, and four more. So, awesome. I have never ever purchased this many hard drives before. But instead of going with cloud based backup, which I'm going to be doing a little bit of that as well for real crucial files, but I have all of my files here. 
uh, they're all going to be here and safe. And I might even move this off site later on. I'm not sure. Right now it's going to be on site. So um, there it is. Eight HGST 5 terabyte drives. If you're interested in these drives, uh, I'll have links down in the uh, doobly-doo, the, the description. And you can uh, click on those links and help support my channel. Um, and as always, uh, please subscribe and like my video. This always helps me grow and get better. Uh, leave me some comments if you have questions, and I hope you'll follow this build. Um, I don't want to forget about the power supply. This is kind of like the heart of the whole thing. So let's just let's open that up real quick and take a look at that. I don't have a whole lot of video available here. Um, I'm shooting this on my phone, actually, so it's kind of weird, right? But, um, yeah, so let's just uh, take a look. So this is a hard, uh, hard <laughs> this is a power supply. And I have this in my main system, and I decided to go with this again, uh, simply because it's so quiet and performs extremely well. This is a Corsair RM750X modular power supply. 750 watts, should be enough to handle all those guys. Uh, this server is pretty cool, because it's all going to run off a USB stick uh, featuring Unraid which I have to thank the guys over at Unraid. Uh, they're supplying me with uh, the software to run this, and I'm super excited to learn how to use Unraid, and I'm, I'm super excited to share with you guys. Um, a lot of my friends use it, and they promote it. I know Mike Howard over at JPEG to Raw, he uses it. He was real excited to see that I was going to use it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. So, all right, guys, this is day one, just an unboxing today. Nothing big, super, super big, but we're going to do the entire build for you guys uh, every day. So I got more stuff coming tomorrow, so I'll do another video tomorrow and show you that. All right, thanks. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff that you need to do um, to help me grow and get better. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments, and I'll be sure to help you guys out. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.